looking at the Smart Factory really showcasing what it takes to build a drive from raw material all the way to a finished product. We've already shipped this year, 2020 alone, over 9 billion gigabytes. That's a lot of data. Data really has the potential to improve the efficiencies in our factories. We've implemented over 35,000 robots equipped with AI technology to make the timeliness of bringing our product to market more quick and also just improving the quality of our products over time as well. And we actually have uh, two of our robots here. So we have the Optica cameras looking at the drives themselves to detect potential issues that the human eye may not even be able to detect. Uh, we also have the trolley um, that will move drives from one place in the factory to the next. And that's a pallet of drives. There's really no human intervention that needs to happen at that point. We create these heads that we call transducers. These transducers are so small that they're smaller than the ear on Lincoln's head on the penny. We actually have an electron microscope so you can actually see these wafers that the transducers are cut out from. So foundationally, if you have a smart factory, you're going to have AI and robots, and they'll probably have a software layer to them as well for the AI to become more predictive, more intelligent, um, enable quicker decisions to be more efficient in the future. Across industries, you can implement your own smart factory in a variety of ways to meet your own needs. Every application looks different. Because we want to bring the highest quality of drives to our customer, we're working with partners like NVIDIA, who is helping us implement AI within our factories to be more efficient and add quality and reliability to our drives. It's really a win for everybody at the end of the day. The customer is going to be able to get a product that's more reliable, higher quality, and less expensive.